Hey everyone, this is Eric Rodebois, EPGD Business Law PA. Actually, it's EPGD Attorneys at Law PA, EP, uh, doing business as EPGD Business Law, doing business as EPGD Law, soon to be doing business as EP, EPGD Franchise Law, Litigation Law, Estate and Trust Law, etc. We're going to work on the branding. And that's what today's uh, blog post is all about. All right, so I'm going to show you guys something that I like to show everybody. So, Remember my basic corporate structure, okay? I've got the company is a box. Typically the people are circles. So I'm the people, I'm Eric. And Eric, as of today, is 100% equity owner of this company, my company. I'll call it MyCo, okay? Now, the official name of MyCo, and when I say official name, it's the name on the articles of uh, in this case, incorporation, because uh, a PA, which is a professional association, is a type of corporation. So it's EPGD Attorneys at Law PA. That is the official name of the business, the whole thing. So if I wanted to drop the PA and just be EPGD Attorneys at Law, I would need to register a DBA with the state of Florida. Pretty easy, it costs 50 bucks. Every state, it's pretty simple. It's called a fictitious business name. In uh, common parlance, we call it a DBA. So, in fact, I did register DBA EPGD Law. That was before Talia and I came up with DBA EPGD Business Law. Now, why do you have to register it? Well, the purpose, at least here in Florida, is to protect the consumer. So what that means is that the consumer needs to be able to know that EPGD Business Law, which by the way, is not the name of my company. The name of my company is EPGD Attorneys at Law PA. How do I know that? Here's my corporate book, right? Look inside, and you've got the seal, the company seal. There it is, right there. EPGD Attorneys at Law PA seal. All right. How about this? The Articles of Incorporation. This is like the birth certificate. So this is the official name. It's right there. Okay, so if you want to use a non-official name, you got to do this. Now, people ask, but what about branding? And I say, all right, branding is very similar, but it's actually in the realm of trademarks. Okay, your trademark is your brand. You can have many brands. The Coca-Cola Corporation owns Coca-Cola, Coke, Pepsi, oh, not Pepsi, Sprite, you know, uh, I'm sure they have, I think Fanta, you know, they have Aquafina. Those are all, um, those are all brands under their corporate uh, umbrella. In fact, if you search uh, Coca-Cola as an owner on the USPTO, that's the United States Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO.gov, you can actually search trademarks. And if you search Coca-Cola, they have hundreds. Okay, because there's two different kinds. There's the word marks and then there's the logo marks and they call them design marks. And so, what I always tell people is, when you're creating your branding and you're deciding how you're gonna go, first of all, the name of your company doesn't matter. So a lot of times I'll pick something generic. Why don't we call your company XYZ LLC? It doesn't even matter. Doing business as, and then that's what your branding is. So my branding is EPGD Law and EPGD Business Law and soon to be other ones. So what I say is, when you go and talk to your graphic designer, have them do three versions, right? Pretend that's your logo. Version one, plain. Version two, have them put the TM, because you're already paying them to do the design. They, they, they won't charge you anymore to put the TM. And then version three, have them put the R, okay? Do not use the R until it's registered with the federal government, not even the state registration. So it's got to be registered with the federal government, the USPTO, United States Patent and Trademark Office. It costs, uh, depending on it, but it's $225 per category of good or service. There's a list of 45 per, uh, per application. So if you do the name, EPGD Law, which we did, that's one application. But then if we do the cool logo that we paid the graphic designer to come up with, that would be a second application, so a second filing fee. Um, in our case, we're only doing uh, legal services, that's category 45, but let's say we also wanted to sell clothing, that would be another filing fee. And we also wanted to sell pens, that would be another filing fee. I think you get what I want, what I mean. So something real quick to remember, you own your brand whether you register it or not. And you can use the TM whether you register it or not. So I tell people, you know what, make the little TM, it's cool. Um, it, 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 it stakes your claim to the world. 
So, once again, this is Eric Grotebois reminding you, don't use the R. You can always use the TM, and if you want to register it, give me a call.